Whether you just want to play it again for all time's sake, or if you want to get into speed running, Magic Soul 2 PC Substance is basically still the best way to play. And I'm going to show you how to get the game, use it then with any of these controls that you see here, be it from PlayStation, from Xbox, or even from Nintendo. And I'm also going to show you how to install mods later in the series. My name is Hostess, I'm a speedrun since 2021, and of course, tutor for this game. And let's show you how to get the game first. So naturally, of course, you could get the game like I do here on disk and then just install it with your disk drive. But if you have no disk drive, or if you don't want to go out on eBay and get a physical copy of Medical Soul 2, there's still other options to get the game. One of the options is, of course, to go and go back in time. Because if you had an account on GOG back when the game was purchasable via good old games, you can now still just download and install the game files for Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. It's literally the same as if you install the game from the disc. But as you sadly know, a year before the Master Collection dropped, Metal Gear 2 PC Substance was actually taken from any stores. So if you don't have an account where you can just download the game, you are out of luck with this option. And the other option, of course, is, well, use the archive.org. Here, under archive.org slash details slash Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance, somebody re-uploaded the install files. Just go here on the side to show all. And in this view here, go to Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance dot 7 zip or 7z. Click on this and download the 3.6 gigabyte big file. What you will receive is this Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance 7 zip file. And if you export it, you get the Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance.iso. Simply open it by double clicking or open it with the Windows Explorer and Windows will automatically mount the ISO file as a DVD. From here, you can very simply install the game. Just double click on the Metal Gear Solid 2 setup.exe. Now I've already installed it officially, but you can install it wherever you want. I'm going to go actually options here. You could just go to Metal Gear Solid 2 setup.exe, double click it, and then open it. We of course want to go to install and then follow the installation process. Just go here and change the folder wherever you want to go. You can install it under C, you can install it under a different drive, however you want. I personally will actually install it into my documents folder. So we go in my case to documents, then speed run here. And I have a full folder here for Medical Soul 2 with different versions of the PC game even. And here I can just add a new information, backslash, MGS2 tutorial, for example, and now the game will be installed in this MGS2 tutorial folder inside of PC game MGS2 speedrun. We want to click next and then go on the full install. And that's just press install and then wait until the time is over and the game's fully installed. All right, now that it's done, go to finish. And we technically can also just eject the disk if you want to. I already have an install. I already have an icon here so I can start the game. However, I actually want to go and delete this. We're not going to use this one. We want to now go to where the game's installed. In my case, as I said, document speedrun MGS2 PC game, and then here MGS2 tutorial is where the game is installed. This looks a little bit empty, but don't you worry, all the necessary files are here in the bin folder. In the bin folder, there's also the MGS2 underscore SSE.exe. This is technically the game. However, we cannot launch the game from this. We need a fix to make it work on modern machines. And this fix looks like these fix. These fix is a community effort here that last got updated in 2021, is since then feature complete and makes it so you have a full compatibility with Windows 10 and Windows 11. The GitHub and of course all the other links I mentioned are linked in the description down below. What you want to do here is here go to releases and you want to pick which one you want. You can of course just use the version 1.81, which is the latest. However, some speedrunners have found that they also like the movement from version 1.72, which is a little bit more diagonal and less like HD version movement. So it's up to you if you want to use an older version or the latest version. I personally use 1.72, but it works all the same in the sense of how to install it. So for this tutorial, I'm actually going to 1.81 and we're going to Go all the way down here until we have MGSV's fix 1.81.zip. Click on it here. And once it's downloaded, just extract this MGS2 setup.exe in the folder where you install the game. We will replace the .exe file that's here before, and then we can close the zip. And there we go. The file has been now set in here. Now this MGS2 setup, you want to actually launch. 
As the prompter says here, VSFIX will now run some extra applications for patching the game into 2.0 version. On some system, it can prompt an UAC warning. Isn't doing anything helpful? Let it do its job. Once you see this window here, you're done. And now we just want to set a few settings here. In my case, apparently there's multiple video graphics ports here. I'm going to go, of course, with my actual GPU, which is my NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. And there's a few other things you can set here for preference. I personally like to run it in Windows mode and also like the full screen cutscenes. We're going to first go to graphics. And here, we're just going to leave it at 2K. Do not going to go to 8K. This is messy. 2K is just the way it works. And you want to leave the effect quantity at least to medium. You can set it to low, but there is some certain CPU bug with the low version that if you start bleeding, the game will actually slow down and even freeze your system. So keep it at medium, even better on high if you want to. These are my personal preferences here. I don't like motion blur. I don't like depth of fifth, and I don't like the extra cool effects. I'm just going to leave it all off. And everything else is high, except for effect quantity. I just leave it on medium. Then on extra, you want to go to open V6 after playing the game. No. And I want to close the game. I just want to close it. I don't need to have this uh, window open again. There's also additional links here in 1.81, which are not present in 172. But you can add this game, of course, also to Steam later. This is actually a key step that we're going to do later. But we're not going to do it while you're here. Lastly, we're going to go here and click here to configure your input devices. I'm going to click on it here. I have gamepad selected. And I go to controller. I'm going to go and set it to Xbox and PS2 type. Now, you may think, oh, I don't like the Xbox controller. I actually like to play with a DualSense or DualShock. Let me tell you, do it still with this setting because we're actually going to have Steam translate the controller that you have with homemade drivers from Steam and then tunnel that into the game here. And then it will still work the same with Xbox input and PS2 type. You don't want to go to DualShock 4. You don't want to go to Steam necessarily. Just leave it on Xbox and PS2 type and you'll be fine. Anything else is not necessary. We confirm, go back, and then hit save. And after we go back to the main menu here, we exit. Now, our bin folder has actually increased a little bit in size. As you can see here, there's a lot more things included. And what you need is basically just one connection. I want to go here to Steam, and I'm going to add a new game. I'm going to add a new non-Steam game, and I'm going to go to Browse here. I'm going to go and open the folder that I just have here into bin, and then add the mgs 2 underscore ssc.exe. Gonna add select programs here, and now it's here my MGS2 substance. Under the settings here on the manage, you can go to properties, and you can rename it however you want. I'm gonna call this specifically MGS2 tutorial because it's the instance that I made for this tutorial. And here on the tab for controller, this is where the magic will happen, where we can translate any controller to a fitting one, so it works with Medical Solid 2 PC substance. I'm gonna start first with an Xbox Series pad. I'm going to go and enable Steam input. All of this is enabled. And I'm going to go to Controller Configurator. What I learned while testing is that you need to do one extra setting. Now, X input technically doesn't need to do this, but if you want to channel your controller through Steam for management purposes and, for example, because you like the game being part of your Steam library, you still want to need to do this step as well. PlayStation controllers like the DualSense or DualShock 4 or Nintendo controllers still need to do this regardless. Next box controller technically doesn't need to do this. It could just launch Medical Solid 2 EXE as it was there. So what we need to do is we're going to go to edit layout here, go to triggers, and we're going to change the right trigger and the left trigger. For some reason, if we tunnel the controller through Steam into Medical Solid 2, it does not recognize the, both these triggers here. Thankfully, though, we have a nice map here that shows us which keyboard controls are actually mapped towards the actions of the game. And as you can see here, the A button and the F buttons are the weapons and item menus. So we're just going to do that. And I go here on right trigger, go to keyboard and set right trigger to F. Now it's F key and the left trigger, keyboard and A key. And then you just go back, back one more time and then the menu closed. Now this steam window here, we can just close and then we can press play. Then finally, Medical Solid 2 Substance opens. As so I go through here, press Start. You can go into New Game. Then, for example, Tanker, just start a run, and we're off. We can go now around and we can see hey, my left stick works as expected. I can hold first person aim. Look around here. I can even shoot. 
I can go crouch and stand. I can even do my punch, punch, kick. And I could even go through doors by pressing the wire or triangle button here. Of course, my item menu works. My weapon menu works. And lately, of course, instead of just FPV, I can also hold on my gun and run around by pressing L1. And I can lower my gun, in case you don't know, by holding the L3 button. If I hold L3 and then let go of square, or in this case on the Xbox controller, the X button, I can actually just let go without actually shooting. Because the PC version of Medic Solar 2 Substance has no pressure input or pressure sense, you cannot do it any other way. You have to press the left stick in and then let go of square and then the player characters like Snake or Raiden will actually lower the gun without shooting. But yeah, this is all working. So we know actually that we can play the game now. I'm going to close it one more time here and I'm actually going to switch over to a dual sense controller. So I'm here. I now use a dual sense controller as you can see on screen. And it also recognized it immediately here again. I can click this controller and I can change the layout right here as well. Steam recognizes each controller as its own ID. And so you need to do the same setting again here. R2. Just going to change again to keyboard F. And L2, we're going to change to keyboard A. Back again here. We play the game. And as we can see here, I can just run around or and race my gun as I need to. Get him this guy here go through the door all the good things it's all working thanks to steam being basically the handler of the inputs go and change my magazines and my items if i need to it's all working just fine it's of course wonderful because we want this to be working nice and smoothly and so steam does basically all the translation you used to be an old tutorial on my channel where you use a driver like hit high to hide the controller then use a different program like these for Windows to map that DualShock 4 or DualSense back to an Xbox 360 controller and then play the game with it. But thanks through Steam, it's actually even easier. It doesn't need any extra software. And if you're already a Steam user, as probably everyone on Earth is, you can just use that to translate controller and then have the game be recognized immediately with that controller. All right, last step, I'm going to actually show you here the Nintendo Switch app on the Nintendo Switch 1, not the Switch 2. I don't have a Switch 2. I don't have that money unless you want to thank me with a Super Chat. But that's up to you. I'm going to go once again here on the controller settings and then edit layout. I'm going to go to triggers and I'm going to set the right trigger here once again to keyboard F and the left trigger here to keyboard A. However, I noticed also the face buttons need to be swapped. So B and A are swapped and Y and X are swapped. So I'm going to do this here as well. B, we'll go back to gamepad here, will now be A. And A, oops, A will be mapped to B. Y will be mapped to X and X will be mapped to Y. We got to go back out here again to make it safe. All right now that we're in the game again, I can basically do the exact same things here. Just rise and lower my gun. You can even shoot here. You can also just hold him up and then punch, punch, kick him. And open for doors. As you do with the game. And of course, as I said before, also the items and weapon menus work here. Just do that. FPV, I can run a gun here. And of course, even the plus button uh, is to pause and the minus button is set here to the codec. Same with the DualSense and DualShock 4. What's cool about the DualSense and DualShock 4 is I noticed that these two, since they have touchpads, they actually are um, also being mapped to select an option. So if I have a DualShock 4, for example, here, the touchpad left side, touchpad left side here is mapped to the codec, and the touchpad right side is still mapped to the pause, which is quite nice. So you don't need to press actually one of these smaller buttons here, but just tap the touchpad on the left or right side, and then you automatically go to codec or the pause screen. All right, that concludes part one of how you can get Medical Soul 2 PC Substance just for regular play, for speed running, or if you want to do the item randomizer like I did. And of course, how it works also with Steam to map any of these controllers that so works inside the game. It's more, much more simple in 2025 than it was back then when I made the original tutorial. No more extra programs needed except for Steam, and it will all handle that for you. It also handles the remapping and anything else that Steam Input can do, such as Turbo if you want to do it via Steam Input. But if you want to have Turbo, for example, via the plugins that we use from the community, which I can actually recommend because there's way more comfort features with that, watch the part two soon, where I will go into the plugins and exactly how we install that item randomizer and many more comfort features that the community has made. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back very soon again with the second part of this setup tutorial video. And my name is Hostess, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.